a beard. Don't make this beard. What? It's really uncomfortable. Well, you're the one spanking me. Are <laughs> you just playing with a knife over there? No, it's just a... That's oh. the clip of it. Nice. That's like a jaw harp. That's, That's pretty funny. sick, dude. Yeah. But it turns into a knife if you want it to. Oh, it's or like players. a Swiss Army knife. It's more like Literally. a butterfly, but... I don't know what that is. Butterfly knife, you know, where you can go. Mm -hmm. And then it pops like open. Crocodile Dundee. Doesn't Jamie have one of those? What? I don't know. Jack Let's be real. Jamie was the kid at school who had a pocket knife and always wanted to use it. I can't wait I till a bully comes true. and fights me. I don't think that's so true. He, get, he okay. gets it. He gets it. Can't wait till that bully comes and fucks with me. I'll show him. I the was fuck. the bully. I'm gonna go to fucking jail. I was the bully. It's a murder to kid. You guys need a pocket me. knife? I got a pocket knife. <laughs> no. Oh man, if only we had something to spread this peanut butter on. I have a pocket knife. <laughs> I think it's fine. I meant something to put the peanut butter on to eat. It's like, yeah, knife. Yeah, knife. Everything. I'm one of those people that takes like an apple and then they peel off pieces with uh Yeah. With a knife and, yeah. and then they use the same knife to whittle a wood? little duck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the wood. yeah. It's a it's a mallard. Actually. Mallard. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're going. You can go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Welcome to the Surge. I hope they there. already made a sequel to this game too. Oh, is there? This is the first one. There's there already is a sequel. Well, it must have been good. It came out like a, a year after this one. <laughs> limb locking. Ooh. Sticky limb locking. I don't know what that means, but fuck yeah, I don't know what that means either. I wonder if they've upgraded. Um, or like updated the PS4 titles on PS5 to kind of like get at the same settings as like a PS4 Pro or something. <laughs> Maybe. Because I even went back, I tried some older games. Like, uh, I tried Last of Us Part 2 on the PlayStation 5 and it runs at 60 FPS, which is pretty sick. But certain games don't do that. Yeah. Like some of them, they still have capped at 30, so... So this is kind of a first for this show. <laughs> I don't know anything about this game, really. Yeah, me either. So the only thing that apparently you know is that there's a second one. There is a second one, and it's basically like futuristic Dark Souls. That's more or less what it is. Okay. Yeah. You finished Elden Ring yet? No. Me neither. I have not been at all interested to go back to that game. I got to the Fire Giant and then I stopped. The Fire Giant? That yeah. That's where I got to. Yeah. What's that? The one that got you really mad? There was a good Sorry. couple of days where you were just at sour plus. I haven't even tried fighting the Fire Giant. I just know that he's there and I looked at I him and I'm like, I tried I'll come once. back to this. I tried it once and then I think he killed me and I'm like, I just don't feel like doing this right now. I don't know what it is with Elden Ring, man. It's like, because I, I like to search everything, yeah. so I got really, like, I'm at 100-something hours, and I'm just like, I'm tired. I, I'm like, probably at, like, a good 70. Like, with Dark Souls and all that, you constantly feel constant progression. You can yeah. walk into the wrong place in Elden Ring, and then you feel like you hit a brick wall every that's, time. And that's pretty much where I'm at with it, too, is, like, I'm at that brick wall. Like, every option that I know that I have is a brick wall, and I just yeah. don't feel like... Scaling any I of don't, them. I don't feel like doing that, yeah. No. Like, it's a great game, and I know that it's, it's won a bunch of awards, and, like, it deserves it. But at the same time, I'm like, I still can't shake the feeling of, like, this feels like a game I've fucking played before. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I think FromSoft needs to, like... Like, they've got that style of game down pat. They've got it. They can do it. I think they need to push it a little bit, you know? Yeah. I think they need to do something to push it, because it's like, you know, it's the same, it's been like the same game for a long time, it feels like. Excuse you, I can't hear you. Look around. Okay. I think, um, I think what they need to do, and this is just, 
just my opinion, is they need to do something, and I know that I'm, I'm going to use a game that I am like a fucking fanboy for as an example, but... Dragon's um, Dogma. Dragon's Dogma. They need to in- incorporate some kind of like further developed like combat system where you can like have, you know, um, the ability to scale some of the larger enemies because like... It's so stupid how in even like the modern day Souls games that like the larger enemies you have to slice at their ankles until they die. Oh, wheelchair man. Ooh, they faked you out, didn't they? Wow. My greatest <laughs> enemy. <laughs> yeah, I do actually I do remember this part, because this was in the demo. Oh, Taylor, no. You've ruined it. But I forgot about it until it just happened. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Is this where I get, oh yeah, I get special ones, not feedy walky place. Oh no, they're all the same. Okay. They should make a whole game like this where you're in a wheelchair. We're happy to welcome you as part of Rolling our around at the speed of my arms. Can't go very fast because I'm not blue. Hey, sorry, uh, I'm new around here, so where should I go? The way to the job registration. Sure. All right. Thank you, job registration. Please proceed to job registration. Please proceed to job registration. Please proceed to job registration. Really, so lonely. You gotta <laughs> go to job registration. <laughs> it's like, really? That's all you have to say? Like, you can't just be nice to me? I want to I drive backwards. It won't let me. He's pretty mobile for being yeah. you know, in a wheelchair. Like, he's... Yeah. He's got fucking spins. Do you think he does that like roller, like basketball thing? That <laughs> yeah. They do? But he doesn't have the right one for that because this. No, he doesn't have the right one for it now. But this is his casual, everyday one. This isn't. This isn't. Uh, is that a, is that are those stairs or is that a ramp? Oh, that's stairs. Okay. Yeah, it's all stairs. Just like the gradient of it kind of looked like it could have been a ramp. I like to just picture myself as you know this guy. Just living his life. He's like, all right, gotta go around do this thing, and then he just sees a bunch of stairs. He's like. Oh, you get to go down the ramp, though. <laughs> you want to go down the <laughs> stairs? <laughs> they should give you the option to do yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> pick my own path. Oh, sweet, it's got its own thing. That's fun. Uh, but yeah, I haven't, I haven't had any interest to go back to Elden Ring at all. I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm trying. Are you a man or a robot? Job registration is over there. Sounds good. Job registration is over there. <laughs> that job <don't> just leave. <laughs> Don't even fucking say anything to him. <laughs> See, um, but that was why I liked. Um, I don't know if you ever really played more of it, but that Sekiro game. No, that I have one, not. That one's really good because it's at least a lot of people a, say that's the best. I wouldn't say it's the best just because I don't know if it's fair to compare it to like the other Souls games because it, it's designed very differently. Um, but it's a really, really good like action game. You know? Creo provides you with the highway to success as a field technician. Life in the fast lane. State of the art. Shut up. Oh. Yeah, it's a really um, well-developed action game. I recommend it if you can... Get it on sale or something. Is it on the computer yet? Yeah, it's on Steam. Hey, good luck. And uh, they got a Game of the Year edition. I don't know what comes with it, but yeah, it's on. It's on Steam. Did they ever do any DLC for it? Not yet, as far as I'm aware. They're not big on DLCs. <laughs> yeah, they are. They do a bunch. They've done two. What are you talking about? There was one for Dark Souls. Yep. I think there was one for Dark Souls 2. There's one there was the Ring City DLC and the Ashes of Ariandel for Dark Souls 3. Old Hunters DLC for Bloodborne. Yeah, so they're not big on DLC. <laughs> they do DLC enough. I don't have one for Elden Ring. Not yet. There probably will be. Huh. Ouch. It would have probably been nice if you had, like, sedated, you know. Yeah, like sedated in the first. Sedated. 
sedate the man, you know, the cripple. Like, yeah, sure, you can puncture all the holes you want in his legs, but yeah. like everywhere else. Everywhere else hurts. Yeah, that, that you still feel that. So uh, would you go through that process right there if it uh, means that you could have a working exoskeleton body? No. Um, you are crippled in this also. Oh. Just so yeah. you know. Ew, that's, that's kind of fucked, actually. Like, yeah. This whole, like... Like, his exoskeleton and everything. That's fucked. <laughs> his body's all scarred up. That's crazy. But yeah, if you were if you were a crippled man, would you, uh, would you go through this? No. To not be a crippled if man? If I had to go through all that pain, I'd be like, eh. What if you had no arms or leg use? It was just your head. So you're going to be uh, Adam Zach. Jensen? Zach, hell yeah. Hey, you got a trophy. On my own two feet. Come to think of it, yeah, I actually don't think I've played this copy of the game. Like, I bought it a long time ago. R3. <laughs> R okay, so it's R1. Yeah, I bought this game many years ago, I think, and we, this is the first time we've played it. <laughs> I'm joking. I like, I like that they had the performance option, 160 FPS. It's good. So yeah, it's like, uh, it's Dark Souls enough, right? Ah, bitch. Yeah, I'd like to see um, FromSoft do something like a little different than like the, another Souls type game, you know? I got fucking like, the camera sensitivity is way too high. Yeah. That's better. Yeah, like, um... Sekiro was like the last kind of thing that they did that was like kind of off that Souls path, but it's still kind of Soulsy, I guess. Yeah. But um, yeah, I, I'd like to see them do something a little bit different if if I'm being honest. But honest, that's just me. Well, honestly, because it's like they would kind of alternate. They do Souls and then they would do kind of an odd type Souls game, and then yeah. they do Souls again, and then they kind of you know kind of alternate a little bit. And it's like yep, yeah. it's like Call of Duty and. Yeah. Call of Duty Black Those Ops. games, I mean, the Souls games have a lot more thought put into them than that, I feel. Um, yeah. Because they're still, like, they still put a lot of thought and effort into the lore and stuff, which is cool, but, like, I just think that it's time for them to kind of do something else, because they've been effectively making, like, the same style of game since 2008. True. You know? Like, it's good. I just am getting a little fatigued of it myself. What did, I, what did I pick up? I don't know. What did, maybe it implants? What did it say? I don't know. I was talking. I didn't see what it said. Medical audit. Yeah, sure. Had that bullshit on there. There you go. Okay. What? Can you look and see what that is? What, the temperature is? Yeah. I feel cold. You feel cold? 29 degrees. Is it Celsius? Inside? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 29 <laughs> degrees Celsius inside. You feel cold. I put it at 71 or 2. I 72. Think. What would you like it at? No, that's fine. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't reverting back to 65. You will put it at 65 when we put it at 69. It's the best. I think that's oh. a little too hot. Too hot? 69? Yeah. A little too hot. Two power core is defective, Billy. Yeah, I see that. Working power core is needed. You use all your axo rig features. We're sorry for this inconvenience. Please contact your exo rig supply office. You require no power. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Every last one of them. He comes out. So is the implication that you were there to like Hello? become part of the crew, and then like a horrible accident happened or something? Yeah, I think so. Are you still there? Yes, I'm still here. Your rig has been damaged. Its distress beacon has been triggered. Thank you. You need to get back into the factory. I don't want to go back in there. Uh, how do I get to the factory? Good, but just goodbye. <laughs> I don't know you. 
I'm surrounded by dead people here. Maybe someone would like to explain what's going on. I'm sorry, I don't know. I got a stick. I think it was someone's femur at some point. Well, okay. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Me either. The rig seems to work for me. Honestly, it's the least of my problems. I mean, I can walk. Huh. Never thought I'd be able to say that again. Well, that's good to hear that the power floor is damaged. You'll have to find a new one to make your rig fully functional. Goodbye. On my way. Be careful. Shut up. Who are you? You don't even have a name. Your name is Radio Transmission. Yeah. I don't listen to radio transmissions. Visit operations to craft items and change your implant loadout. Okay. But what will pay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh oh. Bitches. Ow. Target weak points. Unarmored head. Then moving the right stick and then attack. Ow. I think you've got it on there right now. Oh, no, wait. No, there you go. <laughs> oh! See, that's what they. That's something right there, like that. I don't know. That's an idea that. Yeah, it's a soul, like a vats. Like a souls thing can use is like, you know, the idea that you could target specific weak points on, a, on an enemy or. Like I say, like climbing some of the larger ones would be cool. Like yeah. if there's a good developed system for that. You know, like fucking Shadow of the Colossus did it in 2005. Yeah, but they did it really shitty. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, improve upon it. Like, make it better. Unarmored body. No, I think the uh, body part. Sorry, I think it's the head. I think it shows you, yeah, like, in the blue which ones are unarmored. Oh, okay. Try hitting him in the leg. Yeah, try getting his leg. Fuck you, bitch. I want him to, like, topple over and, like... <laughs> Break his wrist. <laughs> oh my god. You okay? You're <laughs> flying, dude. Yeah, he's okay. <laughs> what do you think? This belt is cutting into my fat. <clears throat> oh shit. I'm getting hot in here. It's time to take off all my clothes except for I'll leave them out because I'm to take off my belt. Not at my house. My ass. That's where I poop. I poop from there too. You poop from his ass? Yeah. Whoa. That's why I have so much poop. <laughs> <laughs> and you make him do all the work? That's how it gets into the toilet. Is that it comes from my butt. And that's why it gets so plugged. You. I haven't done I haven't plugged it yet. Yeah. Not yet. Yet. Yet is the main. Yeah, yet is the main thing. Hey, you got a pop core. Oh, sweet. I don't know what to do with it. You gotta take it to the med bay, it says. Oh, sweet. Overcharge it. Oh, sweet. Intact power core needed to overcharge oh, the circuit. fuck my fingers. Oh, power, core power is too low. I don't know what that means. I think it's because I don't have enough power core. Manticore. <laughs> no, bruh. It's like Cobra. But no. Oh my god, my ankles. So I go back up here? Yeah, the I guess the. I, no, it's operations. Is that the same thing? Hello. Hello. Oh, there it is. Oh, there you go. This is the equivalent of the bonfire. We did it. I'm the winner. I'm the boy who whisked. <laughs> Maybe bank. Okay, so yeah, there's definitely a bonfire. Yep. So you need to get tech scrap and then you can level up your core power. Increase core power! Can you do. Wait, so like how much. How many. How much tech scrap do you have? Um, I have 115 left. So can you do like a temporary level or do you need to have this, the amount that you can. 
Yep. So you only you can only get okay. Yep. So you need to have it. Okay. Okay, so I got that would make sense. Vital injection, medical audit, and then vital boost. Increases maximum health. And these are scales with core power. Alright. Oh, okay. So you got core power consumption, so it's kinda like you have certain ones that could take up more yeah. stuff than other ones. Okay. That makes sense. What's under rig? You know, what's that? MK1, that's it. Nothing to hit right now. Gotcha. So I'd probably have to find new pieces. Thank you. Let's see this. Am I talking to the woman? What are you, sir? You? Alright, time to go back out and crush my enemies. I hope no one crushes my genital bills. You think he's got robot genitals now? Mm, I didn't see anything go for him, but when... Uh, well, they didn't show a lot in the cutscenes. Yeah. So it's very true. I mean, he didn't have functionality of anything in his lower half. Yeah, so maybe... In the first part of the surgery, so... Maybe they gave him, like, a drill dildo. <laughs> a drill thing. That's how he locked his doors. <laughs> he's gonna fuck the lock. Yeah. <laughs> What's the uh, the vertical attack look like? Oh, you're about to die. Is R2 the, the vertical? Oh, okay. It's the heavy. Like the heavy attack. She's so heavy. Can't open right now. This is bullshit. I fucking hate this place. Stupid <laughs> shit. Nothing ever works here. There's a bunch of planes that are destroyed. You know, you know what I want to know? Is, um... Like, in certain other games that have kind of mimicked the Souls style, like, there's, um... You know how they always have those types of scenarios where you go to the, the bonfire equivalent and then the enemies respawn and all that? Mm-hmm. There, there, this is definitely a thing that's here. Yeah, this is a thing that's happening here. So, like... I just want to know, like, it feels like sometimes in some of those other games, I don't even think in the original Souls games they addressed it, but like usually there's like an in-world explanation for stuff like that. But there never is in a lot of these other games. <laughs> it just is like that's the tradition, is that you need to... Um, Where's the square? I'm supposed to be able to do a finisher. It says to build up energy. I don't know where the energy oh, is. It was there. Oh, there it is. There. Do it. Do you have hold it? Hold down. Ah. Ooh. Um. Bloody. You know what I'm talking about, though. Where like they they sometimes have like an in-world explanation as to why all the enemies respawn and why you get healed and shit. Yeah. Or like you know being un undead in the original um, Souls games, like there's a, a system in place for it, right? Or like being the chosen undead, and like that's why you keep getting brought back to life and whatever. But I like how a lot of these other games just don't have an explanation for that. Yeah, it's just, like, just yeah, like just like go. yeah, you all the enemies respawn because that's what happens. That is the mechanic. That's the mechanic. You have to deal with it. Come here, come here, bitch. Pile drive me. Can you guard yet? As it taught me. I don't know if there's a. Hard ability. Yeah. Ooh, getting it from behind. Headshot. It was a headshot. Just so everyone knows. Come on, bitch. Damage and cut weapons and armored body parts to get new equipment. Huh. So he's got like a fucking chainsaw. He should be able to get a chainsaw. Ow. Can I have the chainsaw? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not sure I understand. Ah, uh, yeah. Ow. Okay. Get baited. Ow. 
What's his blue bar? Is that like a... Probably his magic. Or is, that, or is that just part of the UI? Maybe. I think it's a blue like a bar. Oh, maybe that's the charge or whatever. I see it's going up. Like when you were doing trying to do your special move. With your finisher, yeah, see that yeah. goes down. Okay. Okay. Nice. Do you remember um you remember that Neo game? Yeah. The see, the ripoff kind of? Yeah, the ripoff souls game kinda. Like, even if Souls did something like that, like the stance system that they had in that one, could be kind of cool. Yeah, I could see that. See, there's always like a tweak on the Souls formula. And I'd be interested if they actually like incorporated some of that in their own games. <laughs> like, Sekiro is all about parrying and whatever, and like, you know, that, that game is pretty good. Oh, you're gonna die, buddy. That's always the thing, right? Like, they get you comfortable fighting one enemy at a time, and then it's like, oh, now here, here's two. Getting <laughs> fucking wrecked. <laughs> Who wouldn't let me lock on? Thanks, Obama. <laughs> <laughs> I want the thanks, Obama. <laughs> I'll be back. I wonder what that's a reference to. Yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. nice don't tell me what to be nice. I'm gonna break your fucking arm off, dude. Oh, there's a time limit on your scrap. Okay. Come on. Come on. Do it. Give me your arm. Just come on by him. I want his arm. This one is just nondescript song. Is it? I can't really tell. Did I get his arm? No. Oh, yeah, I did. Weapon proficiency increased. You got two minutes to get your scrap, dude. I'll be fine. Don't know if that's going to be enough time to walk down there an extra two feet. Oh. Well, you cut his arm off there. Maybe you can get it. There you go. Yeah, yeah you got a chainsaw it. now. That's, pretty, Vibro that's pretty cool. See, that's an interesting idea. I like that idea. Like you're cutting off their limbs and whatnot in order yeah. to, to like get the weapons. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so you're just gonna farm up weapons. Yeah, I just you know, I need some weapons. I mean your your stick is fine and all, but if I'm gonna take out two enemies at a time, I'm gonna need a hydraulic piston or a chainsaw. Or maybe a laser sword or something. You're in the hang of this, you're doing pretty good. Yeah, and you know, it takes a second. Yeah. Ooh. This guy pissed in my my Honda. Is somebody blowing snow right now? I don't believe so. There's no snow to blow. It's not snowing. Trying to figure out who's gonna do drums for our our Bile Driver album. I told you about that, right? Yes. Yeah. Who's gonna do it? You. Who's gonna do drums? No, well, I obviously I sold all my equipment you to record just drums. Don't so steal can, someone else's. I can ask Dennis to do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean he might. No, I think they they found somebody on Discord who's gonna do it. Oh, okay. Well, because my thing is. I think if you're going to do an album, you it's better to like, you know, 
in my opinion, you want to get hire like an actual drummer to do it, right? To like play the drums, mm-hmm. to play and record live drums, because so many bedroom musicians now just get drum samples and use those, and like that ends up on their album. Yeah, and I just think it's kind of lazy. Like I've done that in the past. I did that on the Majestic Sailors album, but that's because I didn't have access to recording drums at the time, and I wanted to do that myself at the time. Now, yeah. I don't, now I don't give a shit. But like, you know. So it's not unheard of, but I mean, it's just like, there's so many people that are using the same drum packs over and over and over again. And it's like, I don't know, I just think there's more merit to getting somebody who can actually play the drums and record them and whatever. This one goes boop. Because it's, well, because it's an amount of work that a lot of people don't do. Yeah. You know? This so. one goes boop to bop bop, and this one, this one does a running. A boogity 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 bop. This one goes a poof, a baff, a poof, poof, baff. And then I hit this square button, and it goes poof. And then I hit it again, and it goes poof, poof. And then I go poof, 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 poof. And that's my beat. <laughs> and then I hit this button here, and it goes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have one vocal sample mixed in your kit somewhere. And then, uh, yeah, so this is how the song sounds. Um, just take notes, sorry. <laughs> All right, next time I turn up, chaps. We, we chapped the show. That's obscene.